Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with, yep, more Sapphire. This stuff is great. 2020 Bowman Baseball Sapphire Edition, uh, five box, pick your team number 18. As you can tell, the next ones are already in the store, so check it out. They're pretty close to filling too. Um, and uh, there's also break credit given away at the end. I think everyone knows this by now. If you buy at least two teams, you get one entry, four teams, two entries, and blah, blah, blah. Usually there's like 10, 10 to 12 people on that list, top two uh, in a different dice roll. Or a new dice roll, I guess. No, it's not a randomizer. Top two will get 50 bucks each, which is not, not too shabby. So big thanks to these folks for getting into the action right here on a Thursday, the 9th. Ryan H., Reds. Last Spot Mojo. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. We've got, on FX Movies, we've got Everest on, which seems to be... I, I, I do enjoy mountain climbing documentaries. This seems like a sad one, though, because... It's about a disaster, not not necessarily triumph. Uh, FSL was asking earlier, before it's just before we start this, which baseball team do you think will surprise this year? Provided the season happens, of course. They're planning on it. People, they're going there. Teams are training. Teams are training up. They're getting ready. Um, Slot Hits thinks Angels might surprise. FSL thinks Blue Jays or Pirates. Hmm. I think about that. Yeah, I was just going to say White Sox. I, I, I know their young players like Luis, Robert, and some others are a little bit away from like reaching their full potential, but if they're ahead of schedule, I mean, there's a lot of talent on that team if they get ahead of schedule, and they can, they can look real good real fast. There's Hunter Green to 75. Reds, too. Patrick, you think the Dodgers might surprise people? They're the odds-on favorite to win the World Series. I don't, I don't think they're surprising anybody. <laughs> I mean, unless they're bad. Unless you're saying they're, they'll be surprisingly bad. Giolito's a great story, too. Touted as a number one prospect for so long. And then, uh, then traded. Everyone thinks he's a bust. But now he's really turned his career around. Ooh, nice Adley Rushman. I think it's the first Adley Rushman autograph I've seen. EA with the O's. Nice. He's been on a nice little little run here with the Sapphire, I think. There you go. Nice. Big catching prospect for the Orioles. They're rebuilding. They're a ways away, but that guy might be a big part of that rebuild. And there's Luis Robert. White Sox, I'll go to Jason. Ryan is saying someone's listing Sapphire Purple Auto Dominguez for $69,000. Nice. Fair price. That's a good, sounds like a good price. Ray's Dodgers World Series. Yeah, Ray's seem to be a popular pick. I just don't know how to handicap, you know, like these restarts for any sport, you know. Is the rest going to help or not? Will depth help or not? Will everyone seems to, I've been hearing opinions on all sides. Younger teams, older teams, who does it favor? You know, will the, will, will the batters, you know, benefit the most in this short season or will it be the pitchers? Glowbug says it'll be Yankees Dodgers World Series because that's the way MLB wants it. Yeah, if they were able to rig it, I'm sure that's exactly what they would want. Uh, 
I don't know. This season's an exhibition season anyway. Just for just for sports, just to watch live sports, generate a little revenue. You know, for sports related economies like gambling. There's Marco Luciano to 75. Giants, that'll be for John Samuelson. And uh And yeah, so I mean, I mean, you're you're it's like it's like glorified spring training. You've got different divisions playing each other, super short season. I mean, if the Dodgers win the World Series, I guess I'd be happy. There's another Luis Robert for the White Sox, Jason. I'd be happy, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it'll mean as much until like a a normal season World Series is won for for any team. Really. There's shirt and apostle That's for the Rangers. That'll be Matthew. Matthew S. with that one. Anyone have any thought uh, thoughts on uh, like MVPs or rookies of the year, Cy Youngs? It'll be. Uh, we've had this conversation before, but it's always interesting to think like. What kind of stats are going to win you an MVP? If the baseball writers still, decide. I'm assuming the baseball writers will still give out those awards. I think a lot of players have bonuses related to those awards anyway. Well, Alex is saying teams with good pitching will dominate. So with Degrom at all, you can't discount the Mets. I always try to think back to what happens when the when the when the season usually starts. Is it usually the the pitchers that have the jump on hitters when the season starts in March or April in a normal year? Oh, I saw. L.C. Ryan saying, hopefully it'll be Mariners Marlins in the World Series. That is not what Manfred wants. Commissioner Manfred does not want that. No offense to the wonderful people in Miami and Seattle that shop with jazbeescasebreaks.com, but you know, Rob Manfred is not, does not want that this season. <laughs> There's a Daz Cameron to 75 for the Tigers. V with that one. Although Mariners kind of have a, I feel like they have a sneaky good team that they're rebuilding out there. A lot of young prospects. You'll see Julio Rodriguez in these sets here too. There's Bobby Wood Jr. for uh, for Raymond and the Royals. Hey, listen, Ryan, for, for me, I think it'd be fun to see Marlins and Mariners in the World Series. There's Phil Clark Green, 50 out of 50. All right, Blue Jays, Gary with the Bluebirds. Someone was saying, mentioning in the chat, maybe the Blue Jays could be an interesting surprise team. I mean, if, you know, Vlad Jr. keeps evolving, Bo Bichette, you know, just breaks out, busts out. He did all right last year. Keeps growing. They've got a decent team, right? We've got some good pitching too. They just added added Hyunjin Ru in the off season. I feel like they they've got a decent pitching staff. That's exactly what I was saying, Derek. Mar don't Derek's like don't sleep on the Mariners in the next few years. He's got some nice talent in the making. 
And I feel like they're... Hey, Buzz, what's going on? Uh, I feel like the Mariners are not afraid of spending money. You know what I mean? They're not like Yankees or Dodgers rich, but but they've they've splashed the cash. You know, so I think if they get a get a good good team going of youngsters, add a couple free agents here and there. That team might get real good real fast. There's Tanner Hawk. Two out of fifteen. That's for Josh Pruce and the Red Sox. I always see the red and I'm always like, oh, it's out of five, but still nice. Bobby Wood Jr., there's Nate Pearson. We we're just talking about him too. And for the Dodgers, there's Andy Pagas. That is for Ryan H. And my dog am I wearing a Dodgers hat? Yeah, and my Dodgers. There you go. Big Cuban prospect that I was not familiar with, but people were saying that he sells really well on the secondary market, so I keep my gotta keep my eye on his progress. Another Bobby Witt Jr. for Raymond as well. All right, and the final box. Good luck. You have big win for the the home team Dodgers in their inner air squad game. When will we have number 21 on the site? Uh, when 19 and 20 sell out. So let's hurry up and sell those out. Force the issue. Make it happen. Make us post another one. I think we'll have a 21. <laughs> I'll have to double check the counts on the boxes. Here we go, final box. Good luck, everybody. Another Bobby Witt Jr. for Raymond. And the final autograph out of this box is going to be for New York, Ezekiel Duran. Brandon with the Bronx Bombers. There you go, nice. And the last bit. We've got Kanan Smith, Yankee Parallel, 13 out of 20. And Evan White at the very end. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was 2020 Bowman Baseball. I got break credit to give away. 2020 Bowman Baseball, Sapphire Edition. Hot product, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure we'll, we'll be able to do a couple more of these breaks tonight. Let's go back to this list right here. So once again, if you bought at least two teams, you'll get an entry. Four teams gets you two entries. Six teams, I don't think anyone's bought six, will get you three entries, so on and so forth. All right, so, so Bill with two, you get one. John Samuelson with two, you get one. 
EA with two, you get one. Josh with two, you get one. Matthew, two, you get one. Raymond has four, so you get two. Uh, and Raymond L, you have three, so two count. So you still get one. Ryan with two, so you'll get one. Ryan D. And Ryan H with two, with three, but two count for the purposes of this. And V with two, you get one as well. So that is about 11 names right there. Usually it's been around like nine to, nine to 13 names or somewhere around there. So it'll be top two, $50 of break credit each. Top two after six, two and a four, six times. One, two, three, four, five and six after six times there you go v rack men and ea sports it's in the game great credit going your way to fifty dollars for each of you thanks everyone for giving this a shot thanks for joining the break i'm joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and we'll see you next time Bye bye